Today, we are here to talk about dice. Specifically, I wanna to talk to you guys today about game science dice. We got uh, three sets in the mail recently, two for me, one for Eric. Um, and I wanna talk about them because I had read online that they are extremely well balanced um, and that they are superior to all other dice in how they are crafted and made. And I had high hopes for these beautiful dice and they are really lovely and you can customize the color that they paint the numbers because they when they make them the colors aren't in the numbers themselves so you can have blue dice with pink writing if you want i got silver on mine because i thought it would be easier to read i have often a hard time reading uh the dice so i would say that the dice themselves are beautiful the clear crystal colors are really nice the um uh, the numbering is excellent. Like I'm really pleased with how the numbering turned out on mine. Eric had requested red, um, and his dice, the I mean his dice are clear, but he wanted red writing, and the red turned a little more pink than red. Uh, but he says he can fix that. Not no problem. Um, the reason I wanted to do a quick little, super short video about this is that. For the couple of reviews that I read online that were, these are so great, these are so wonderful, I was surprised at how many hits or how many um, sort of raised sections each of the dice had because I felt like that would potentially detract from the balance. Um, and I haven't reached out to them yet, but the fact that it was on all, almost all of the dice that I have led me to believe that this isn't a manufacturing error, it's just sort of how they come. So I'm not sure what makes them so perfectly balanced or what people are loving so much about them. That being said, I felt like they've rolled very fairly. Um, so it's possible that they are balanced really well. I was just so surprised that they had visible imperfections on the physical faces themselves. So yeah, I don't know. Has anyone else experienced this? Do you have game science dice? Um, I'm not gonna stop rolling them. I actually, what I did was is I took out um, the sort of the scraper for the Citadel um, miniatures that we have. I mean, for the, the King's Workshop, all the Warhammer stuff. And I actually scraped down some of the, the really, like there were really raised sections on some of the dice and I just wanted to smooth them out a little bit. Probably threw off the balance. I don't know, I don't know, maybe that's the secret to the science. But, um, so yeah, so did that, they seem to be fine. They are rolling really well. If I find out that, if I if I roll them more and they seem to feel like they're not rolling very well, then I will probably retire them. They are so pretty though and I just got them and I wanna use them and they, they did roll really well for me. So um, just putting that out there. Also, I think it's really cool, the D4s, their their pointy ends are cut off, which is nice because if you ever know, if you played games, you know if you drop a D4 on the ground, you're gonna step on it and stab your foot, uh, and it will be bloody. So this, while they are pointy, they also ha are slightly squared off, which is funny and nice. And someone probably has stepped on these in the past. Uh, yeah. So write in the comments below if you have had these, if you know of other dice that are even more well balanced. I mean, this was just a basic search that I did on the internet for dice. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, I, yeah, I just felt compelled to, to make a video about it because again, I had heard that they were so perfect and then I was so surprised that they were imperfect. Um, not that they're not good. They're really gorgeous and they roll well. I was just surprised, that's all. All right, so leave comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time here on Condition Nerd. All right, bye guys.